If you're working with comma separated values in Power Query, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you different ways on how you can retrieve a value from a comma separated list. I will use some of the standard ways, but then also show you how you can retrieve a single item from it without going through every single step, the usual methods know. So let's get to it. So the data set that I imported for this video it's a data set that contains the amount of hurricanes that happened in a year. So what you can see is there is a month in the top row and each of the values that separated through commas, uh, the titles are above here as well. So we have an average and all the years that are here. The usual way in which you could easily split this and get your comma separated values would simply be to go here, go to the home button, click on split column and click by split by delimiter. Then if you have a split for a comma for each of the commas that you have, you press OK. And this will result in everything being split. And you could then use the first row as a header and you're done. Now, this is not always very practical because it's including a lot of extra steps. As you can see on the right here, we, let's see. So this part here is four steps and the changing types is included, but all these steps here are only to split your columns and perhaps you don't even need all these columns. So let's say you only need the fourth value in your comma separated list. We could go back. We can delete everything until the end. Okay. So this is the starting position and perhaps you might not even have the first row. So if I remove the top row, remove the first row. Perhaps this is what your column looks like. That's what a client of mine recently had. Their database stored everything in comma separated values and they didn't get to the point yet where they had transformed this in a good format. So let's say that you always need the fourth value in your comma separated list. Another trick you could do is you can go to add columns, click on custom column, and a formula you can use is this text.split. And the text split function requires you to enter a column that contains text and you need to indicate through what you want to split this. So we could click on uh, column one, which is text. And in our case, you want to split it by a comma, which we put in between quotations. So we can say uh, split. Okay, let's first see what this looks like. Uh, the result actually is a list item. If you click on this without clicking on the list word itself, but just next to it, you will see a preview of what is contained within that list. So this is the entire list that we just had. And let's say we want that fourth item that we just mentioned. So in our formula bar in the top, the part that retrieves our list is the selection right here. And if you know how to work with lists, it's quite easy to retrieve values that you need. So if you go here, and you want the fourth item, you can open a curly bracket. And then the fourth item is the third index because Power Query index is starting on zero. So by clicking here, writing a, a, a number three between these curly brackets, the result will be the fourth item. And we can easily see that in this row here uh, because if we go here like one, two, three, and this is then number four, and this three, this three right there was the result of our formula. Now we still made this with extra steps and perhaps you don't even need to keep the original column and you only need to get uh, the value and the column can be, just be uh, thrown away. So to make this even easier, we can do something else. You can copy this part that we have here, the text split, including the, the three that we have on the end let's see if we can do this without this extra line. So this is our starting position. And what I usually do is uh, I start by clicking on format and I can just, for example, take the clean operation. We won't be using it, but it will at least prepare your formatting of your formula. Uh, I'm in the wrong column here. We're in the add column section, which will always do the perform the operation in a new column, but we need to go to transform first. And then you go to format and then you can click on clean. And in the top, you can see that the table transform columns uh, formula is added. 
and within this function, the text clean is embedded. Now we can change this formula slightly so that instead of text clean, it's going to use our text split. So you can paste it right here. I will open this up a little bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller. So this part you can paste. And in the beginning, if I write this, you will see that it doesn't know exactly what to do. Now there's two things that you should change before this works. So you split it as it was before. And first of all, you write the each item here so that this will be performed for each of the lines, which will still throw you an error. And in the formula bar, you can already see that it focuses on the column name here. And because it already knows what column we are working with, instead of referencing the column right here, you could just write a lower, an underscore, which also indicates that it relates to uh, the field that has been referenced earlier. And then if you click, it actually transforms these steps and it does it in a single step for you. And this makes the amount of clutter that you have in your query much less. It will make it easier to just have an overview and uh, uh, perhaps performance wise is better, but I haven't tested that. So please test that out. So that's it for today. What kind of stuff are you struggling with, with comma separated list? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And if this brought you any value, smash that like button and I'll see you next time.